Welcome back, everybody, for some more Tomislav. Oh, hey, there was an update today. Um, and uh, Asylum, the one we just finished, was, I think, correctly renamed to, uh, redone to a very hard difficulty because, oh boy, that one was uh, pretty crazy. But now we are going to Italy, it seems, as we have Voyage to Apulia, which, in case you don't remember, is where Bari is. It's kind of like here-ish. Anyway, let's get into it. Endured several trials, Croatia had finally come of age. In 925, the Pope in Rome decided to elevate the dukedom into a full-fledged kingdom. By besting the charge of Meyer horsemen and providing refuge to the conquered Serbs, Tomislav had convinced the Pope that his role was favored by God. The coronation was a magnificent event. Townspeople from every corner of Croatia flocked to the ceremony where a new sense of unity binded Zupans and lowly peasants alike together for the first time. With the Myers raiding Swabia and Simeon recuperating after his war against Serbia, Emperor Romanos now had the opportunity to recapture Siponto, a port town in the Italian province of Apulia. The city had been seized by Saracen pirates some years before, but the Byzantines had been too preoccupied with their war against the Bulgarians to recover it. The newly crowned King Tomislav proved to be the best ally possible to carry out the mission. Since gaining control of the Dalmatian Zin, he had constructed an impressive fleet of small warships, or Kondara. They had already been successful in securing trade with the Byzantines, but they had not yet been deployed in a full-scale invasion, so this would be the prime opportunity for Tomislav to demonstrate his naval prowess. Tomislav was not alone on his journey. To compete with the Saracens and their seasoned navy, he sought favor from Mikhail of Vahumia, an independent prince who controlled part of the Dalmatian Zim of his own. His fleet was one of the finest in Europe, and it knew the Adriatic well. Together, Mikhail and Tomislav would reopen contact to Italy and assert Christian control of Apulia once again. Alrighty, now it seems like we're actually going to uh, demonstrate the, uh, the navy. Your Majesty, the Saracen Navy dominates the Adriatic. We cannot hope to reach Apulia until they are defeated. If we destroy the Saracen's Navy supply depots, they'll be unable to produce any warships. Duly noted, we have longboats. Just kidding, they're Condora. The Saracen Fleet. Alrighty. So lots and lots of stuff going on over here. Uh, do not allow the cathedral in Siponto to be destroyed. Destroy all of Saracen yokes. Saracen yoke? <laughs> it's towers in Siponto. I, I guess that's like the Saracen overlords. It's kind of weird calling it that, but sure. Uh, destroy the Saracen Navy's supply depots to slow their rate of production. Avoid Siponto. Uh, Siponto. And the Saracen's main base until you have a large army. Now that Croatia has been elevated to a kingdom, Tomislav is allowed to advance to the Imperial Age and can train a pop limit of 200. The Saracens are vicious on water due to their galleon attack rate bonus. You will need large numbers before you can try and clear them from the Adriatic. Because gold is limited on your starting coast, take full advantage of the Croats Kondura unique unit. They may have poor range and hit points, but uh, because they only require wood to produce, you may able to be able to match the quality and quantity with the Saracen Navy. They also... Uh, be quite helpful for warding off land attacks. The Saracen occupation of Siponto is mostly peaceful at the moment, but they will likely turn hostile against the city if their control of the port is threatened. Avoid landing directly in Siponto or the Saracen's main base and only invade Siponto when you have a large army. Oh, okay, that's where you get the whole cathedral must survive. Uh, because the Saracen specialize in anti-cavalry units, Tomislav cannot rely solely on knights and zupons and will need to mix in some infantry and siege weapons to counter the enemy. <laughs> it's the 10th century, so cannon galleons aren't a thing yet. I like that. Tomislav has assembled a base along the Dalmatian coast in preparation for his campaign to liberate Siponto. The Saracens have built a city in Apulia and will periodically harass Tomislav with warships, camelry, archers, and pikemen. Uh, the Saracen navy dominates the Adriatic Sea and will prevent safe passage to Apulia as long as their supply depots are standing. Siponto is on the western side of the map uh, across the Adriatic and is under control by the Saracens and cannot be liberated until all enemy guard towers are destroyed. Uh... Michael of Zahumi is situated in the eastern part of the map. His navy will attempt to fend off the Saracens while Tomislav gets ready to cross the sea. 
As Tomislav prepares his expedition, he'll need to hold off the mainland raids by the Avars. I remember you guys. I love the consistency, keeping the Avars orange from Hamtloglalash and the Saracens green from Saladin. Tomislav, my warships will do their best Even purple, you could say, is, is Bari. But you mustn't slack off. He mustn't slack off. Okay, Michael. Or Mikhail. Alright, so it seems like we're back to actually having a base. And here is our ally. And it seems like he's actually like a regular old ally. So he could actually be quite helpful for us. Don't have much of an eco at all to start with, though. Let's use our Condora, which I believe are 75 wood, if I recall. Uh, I wouldn't know because my tooltips were turned off again. Uh, a super cheap elite upgrade, too. And you can research it in Castle Age. Interesting. 60 wood, even. So, he's... Um... Michael of Zahumi seems to be down the coast. Oh, here are the Avars. And it seems like we can raid them before they raid us. Ha! Take that. I mean, unless the Avars decided to get a navy out of nowhere, uh, which I'm pretty sure wasn't a thing historically, you can just start attacking these guys like crazy. So yeah, they only have five... Maybe only, what, four base attack, even, because we would have fletching. Oh, I remember the team bonuses. The trade cogs generate more gold. Yeah, now we can see why that's a thing. This is already looking really cool. Like, a, a very well-fleshed-out naval scenario, which you don't get too often. Okay, the Saracen... Oh, where are there, like, supply depots? Okay, those are just docks. Ah, here they are. They're trade workshops. 5,000 HP. This looks like quite the expansive scenario, though. So, yeah, we definitely can't cross overland to get to the, uh, the bad guys. Here are the Avars. Anyway, we're going to channel our inner us, and we're going to do the classic... Whoops. Hitting the wrong hotkeys. Well, that is the, that is classic for, for me, but not what I intended. But yeah, if we can get support a pop limit of 200... Oh, 75 HP. I mean, these are really our trash warships. But yeah, we'll definitely have to remember about the trade cog thing. Can we get to the right side of the wall, please? But yeah, I mean, it's a very small area we need to wall off. Stol? I guess it's the same in Croatian and Russian. Da. Oh, you can tell the Slavic languages are connected somehow. Uh, I'm also getting housed, which really is par for the course for this stream, stream, YouTube channel, whatever. Both. <laughs> anyway, the Avars are pretty weak. Uh, Saponto is just kind of chilling right now. The Saracen yoke. Now, I don't believe we have any specific naval bonuses other than our unique ship. Uh, however... That's fine. Because I'm pretty sure we have a complete naval tech tree. Except for... 
uh, I want to say Elite Cannon Galleon, but we can't make Cannon Galleons anyway, so it's like... I guess... I guess the Civ wouldn't have Cannon Galleons at all, then. Oh, hey, Michael! Being helpful, look at him. Look at you being useful. Yeah, we can take care of you. You got some zoopins. And some getting housed. -zes. Uh, do we have a mill? I don't think so. Get another TC. I mean, we already have, like, a super good eco. So it seems like Apulia is, you know, it does take up a very large portion of the map. But yeah, I mean, it seems pretty clear that we're going to have to defend Saponto from the Saracens. Get that. I'm pretty sure our uh, Kondoras... Yeah, I can just use my longboat hotkey for those. Can play some Boom of Boom Pyres too. The Boom of Booms. I think I've earned it after the last scenario. Uh, I'm not sure what Michael's role is, other than to be very helpful, which he is, I guess. Look at him, he's being so helpful. Starts in Imperial Age, we're only in Castle Age. Seems like he has plenty of wood and gold. Uh, us, on the other hand, we do not, by all appearances. But I don't want to start trading. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I didn't I didn't mean to make demos. Hit the wrong button. Let's make some scouts for the monks. But uh, what I was saying is that we're probably gonna want to get some trade cogs up and running very soon. See how much they uh, they grant us. I guess this would be the furthest dock. Eh, we're getting them done. We have no more gold at all. So let's very, very much get some trade cogs going. Oh, you caravan. Okay, we do have a little bit of gold we can take, though. If I can remember to build houses for once in my life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you think your ships can match up to our mighty vessel? Think again. Stop. 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 
Okay, we should probably get ballistics. Really don't have much room. Probably get a castle up. Get careening. Get more Condoras. Wait, what's converting me? Get to him. We just need to actually get there. Ah! Uh oh. Yeah, we really need to match their quality with our quantity right now. Are you converting a house? Wait, he already converted the stable! Oh, no. Oh, those are post-imp units. Okay, maybe went a little too crazy on the boom. Oh, yeah. Try and get enough stone for a castle. Okay. You're running out of docks. Let's try and get this up. Stop it, you! Oh my god! Okay, we might have made some bad mistakes here and there. Oh no. You get heated shot. Yeah, this whole Castle Age versus Imperial Age thing's pretty rough. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, Saracen transports extra HP. Okay, let's just restart this. Back to the happy music. Your Majesty, the Saracen Navy dominates the Adriatic. We cannot hope to reach Apulia until they have defeated. If we destroy the Saracen's Navy supply depot, they'll be unable to produce any warships. Our Candora warships will decimate the Saracen. The Saracen fleet. Okay, let's start by raiding uh, the Avars over here. My warships will do their best to hold off the Saracen fleet, but you mustn't slack off. We shall do no slacking. I would never in my life just go for an AFK boom. Man, these don't do much damage. Yeah, Saracen. Dolphins! Dolphins, just dolphins. I mean, you really don't have much to start with, though. Let's 
But I like how we're, like, experiencing this different aspect of Croats. You know, we're getting a good feel for the civilization. That's a weird bug. Okay, there's a supply depot. Let's just get our uh, trade cog trade up and running quickly. And try and rely on that maybe a little bit more for gold income. I do want to make sure we're also... I still think being walled off is going to be very helpful. Oh, of course, the thing with docks is I'm going to have to redo my gather point every single time. Just kind of how it is. At least Michael's helping us out. Ah! Also, Saracens don't have heated shot, which is nice. We probably need to develop a fleet much more quickly, but I'm also somewhat unsure as to how quickly we can possibly do that. Wait, who's he trading with? Is he trading with the enemy? I think he's trading with the enemy, guys. Okay, you need to be retasked back over here. Okay, looks like they do get attacked a little bit. 132 gold is pretty sick. Ah! Damn it. Okay, yeah, it really needs to take out those towers. Let's get another dock. Bosa as soon as I can. Okay, these trade cogs are just going to their death right now. How did you make it alive? Well, you're not making it alive again. Maybe this will destroy the tower? Maybe you can just focus on the tower. No, I do what I want. Hey, you can just work on that. No, destroy the goddamn keep. Okay, we really need to start focusing on our navy. So let's start getting some Kondoras. Or longboats. Wait, 
two, three. Gonna want to also grab Bodkin as soon as I can. So let's get some more trade cogs. And hope that they've destroyed. No, they haven't destroyed the tower grate. Still, we've got lots of wood income and can therefore afford a lot of Condoras. But of course, they're all being rallied to. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. No. Damn it. Damn it! Turkish transports! Don't let them land! Well, considering just how limited our gold income is, I would say that the scenario does a good job of teaching you the value of the Condora. Which, by the way, would be insanely overpowered if it existed in multiplayer. Having only one Sid that has a trash unit on water. But this isn't multiplayer. Ballistics. Are you hockey? Yeah. Get a bunch of docks. All these Condoras. All the Condoras. Get careening. Oh, no. Stone mine. Oh, that's attacking me. Oh, it's a harbor! To be honest, I never realized that harbors always looked exactly like docks. I just thought they looked like, you know, the, the harbor thing. But I guess they look exactly like your dock? Except if you're Malay? I don't know. Pink again! Uh, maybe you just have you guys focused on that one, and then... Have these docks focused on actual warship production? Alright, let's Condora the world. Oh, get him! Nice! Yeah, sniping those transports is just so important. Anyway, as soon as we get a castle, I think we can just drop a castle, defend our docks, and then use that castle to make some Zupons, and then use those Zupons to take out the frickin' Navars, man. Oh, let's actually get the keep for once, please. And like longboats, these Kondoras should be pretty good at taking out, um, fire ships. Castle. 
sure, why not? Oh, whoops. I keep on hitting uh, D for Condora. I don't know why my brain is making that association, but it is. Ah, yeah, sail away. Oh, maybe get a good demo raft hit. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I keep on making freaking demo ships. Stop it. Me? You don't have the gold income for this. Yeah, just go for a mixture of war galleys and condoras. Get heated shot. Because we are under pressure. At some point, uh, is it worth investing in the fire ships? Probably not until we have fast fire ships. Yeah, let's get up to him. Post haste. Can I have one gold, please? Okay. Oh, that's not good. Wait a minute, I didn't have any wood. Or any stone. 200 food, 100... Did they change that? For just for this campaign? That's fortified wall, Lauren Lou. Orn Lou, you're not too smart. Whatever, get masonry first anyway. Okay, let's get some more docks up. I'll be honest, our eco has seen better days. But we're about to hit in. Honestly, should probably sell a little gold. Oh yeah, and the uh, Elite Condora is a Castle Age upgrade, which is very interesting. Ooh, and we get ship ride and all that stuff. Fast fire ship. Oh, we don't get heavy demo ship. Okay, these are these are not very good against galleons. Uh, but Elite isn't in yet. Uh, you guys want to build that? Yeah. 
we do get fast, faster working farmers still. Get some Kondoras. Let's also get like a trebuchet. Lumberjack. Okay, Elite Condoras have 8 attack, 8 range. Oh, wait. Oh, the Saracen Navy was an imp. Oh, yeah. Bonds. Bands. Bands. Okay, let's make these three docks. We'll put them on 9. And we'll make you guys for trade cogs. And then you will be back to... Only 85 HP still, though. Like, that's less than a galley. That's way less than a galley. I want to see what uh, Bands does. I think it is 150 stone. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, no landing. Get out of here. This was all a bloody mistake. <laughs> good, 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 good. Take that little bit of gold. Okay, we need lots more docks because we're gonna need all of the Kondura production. No Croatian guilds, apparently. They train really quickly, too, which is nice. Whoa! That's five additional arrows per castle. That's pretty sick. Mm. There's a stone mine here. Can get ship right. So yeah, it's like we're using low HP longboats, elite longboats with only fletching research, but they cost 60 wood. Actually going to be less once uh, Shipwright's done. So yeah, it's like, a, it's an interesting concept. Like I said, it's super OP for multiplayer. But that's just because there aren't any other trash warships. Forty-eight wood. We get so many of these bad boys. And they're gonna produce so fast. Oh man, it's like I'm making a water karambit. Hit dry dock. Look at these guys. Boats for days. Uh, can you guys come in range of my castle? Oh, that's a lot of arrows. That's a lot of arrows. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, guys. 
Running low on villagers. Villagers? Okay, let's get these supply depots. Frickin' Terrans. Oh, they got lots of gold. Holy gold, Batman. Unfortunate that we don't have two man saws a naval sieve. We have destroyed a Saracen supply depot. Let us see how their fleet handles us now. Go for Hussars because we have super good food income with the sieve. Okay, let's get some stables, at least some stables. Okay, let's sail out of here a little bit. Well, this is certainly challenging, but, like, in a different way entirely from the last scenario. We need to get off the Dalmatian coast right now. Our allies are going to be running out of resources soon. Okay, there is wood over here. Now, where are the rest of these supply depots? Here's one. Here's one. And here's one. That one is guarded by castles. Fun. Now, as awesome as the Kunduras are, I still would rather make galleons, in most cases anyway. Uh, just because they're a more population efficient unit. Karambit of the sea. I'm literally um, queuing up all of these ships in uh, groups of five because they're so damn cheap. It's a very fun unit to play with, I will say that. Let's clean up these towers so we can get actual uh, gold miners. Need to clean up this whole area. Because, yeah, we're going to be running out of wood soon. Please tell me that the t one tower is still there. Now, to be honest, I'm not too sure what the difference is between destroying, like, supply depots and just destroying the docks. Okay. Yeah, that's so much gold. I don't think there's room for a lumber camp here on this island. It's like it's Pilgrim's Nothing or something. I ordered, uh... 5,000 Kunduras, please. 
Damn, we're only 45 minutes in this video. Get him. Oh. You're making exclusively stuff that kills Hussars. That's not so great. Guess we gotta go Pikeman. But we don't have a ton of wood to spend, is my concern. Oops, not you. Okay, so we got rid of all that stuff. Let's get rid of... Wait, where's the supply depots again? It's not there. Okay, one's right here. One's right here between the castles. That'll probably be the last one. And where's the other? Oh, here it is. Whoops! Uh, none of you saw that. Nope. Actually, I'm going to need to make some, uh... A transport. Uh, let's focus on these supply depots. Yeah, this could easily be a two-parter, guys. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How can this be? Can't stop, won't stop. I completely forgot about those guys. board. Okay, this whole area seems to be rid of enemy units. Now getting to the point where we are buying wood. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, uh, there is still actually a decent amount of wood left over here. At least a couple thousand. Oh, uh, let's get Galleon. And fast fire ship. Because we are still going to want to use our full complement of the navy. Which is actually kind of cool with the, the Kondora because... It's not something like the longboat that's kind of a one-for-one -one replacement of the galley. Or the caravel, even. Like, it kind of has its own thing. Get some more trade cogs. Also got some fast fire ships. Those are going to be pretty helpful, I deem. Okay. Let's try and take out the last of the, the supply depots, then we'll call it a, a video. But I really like this scenario. It's it's definitely challenging, but in a good way. It's not frustrating, I guess. Start getting some uh, galleons. 
Kind of like how you have a group of very efficient um, cav archer units, like Mangudai or literal cav archers, whatever you want, Kipchaks, um, that you want to keep alive and you kind of have them surrounded by a bunch of Hussars, which are really cheap and expendable. It's kind of like that with the Kondora and I think a, a bunch of Galleons uh, I'm going to try and make and defend. But yeah, the Saracen Navy is really stop becoming as much of a threat. Where'd I have you guys rallied? <laughs> Wait, where are they? Ah, I think I found them. Yeah, I don't even think it's worth mining all that gold. Because our trade cogs are going to be insane. Like, if you compare it to the Spanish trade bonus, I believe it's 40%, and the Spanish trade bonus is like... 20% now? 25%? I think it's 25%. Alright, let's park over here. Yeah, Yellow isn't doing too much anymore because he's kind of out of wood. But that's okay. He kept us alive in the early game. That was kind of his job. Lots of wood over here. And, like, this map is so pretty. This is, this reminds me a lot, actually, of uh, Gajamata 4, where you kind of have to do all that, like, island hopping. All right, we're going to be losing some ships here, but such is life. And once all these are done, I'm sure that that will be fine. Even an island fortress cannot hold us back. That's all the supply depots. The path to Sakantu is wide open now. You bet it is. You may have sunk in our ships, but our garrison rules a pool with an iron fist. An iron fist. Alrighty. Now the question becomes... We're going to go for our Hussars and Halbs and try and mix in whatever siege we can for a land army. Let's go land on this island. Let's at least scope out what we're going to be up against here. Do not... Like, avoid Saponto until we have a huge army or navy. So I'm thinking maybe we land a little bit further down the coast. That's at least my thought process. Such as... Oh, they don't delete the towers. Come on, Jacqueline. No, 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 get him, boom, okay, so the, it's clear that the Saracens are right here, but maybe, like, outside of Saponto, I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be a safe landing spot. First, let's make sure it's not an island. Okay, I'm, I'm fairly confident. I don't want to get too close. And we have enough for a castle. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some villagers... Transport them over. And then, um, we'll uh, take it from there.
Oh, we have to avoid the Saracen's main base, too. Okay. All right, guys. I think that'll do it for part one of Voyage to Apulia. Now, this is a really good scenario. Uh, challenging and long, obviously, but it's a good one. So definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Welcome back, everybody, for some more Tommy Slav. Last time, we took down the Saracen Navy, which was quite challenging, but we got it done. And this time, we should be finishing out the mission. Scenario. Whatever it's called. Whatever you want to call it, really. Uh, I do want one more transport. To be completely... <sighs> to be completely honest with you guys, I um, I'm recording this ex as soon as I finish the last part. It's because I want to finish the scenario. It's fun, man. Um. This gets conscription. Elite Zupon doesn't cost any gold. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you guys are being kind of annoying. Uh, but it seems like there's plenty of wood over here in Apulia, so we'll just send a bunch of villagers over and we can rely on that. We have tons of gold. So we should actually think about making some Cavalier. And probably some Zupan. And, uh, do we have Siege? I don't think we have Siege Engineers now. So our Siege isn't super great with, uh, Croatians. Freaking dolphin sounds. Okay, so this is mostly just Hussars. In fact, it is exclusively Hussars. But they'll be able to do some scouting. Okay, there's a little gold over here. But this will be, I think, a good spot for a base of operation. Whatever. We'll keep our navy on standby. Just go for a bunch of buildings. We've been found out! Uh, please finish the castle. I'll just build town center over here. Oh yeah, and we have bonds, man. Holy crap! Like these twenty trade cogs are just insane. How much gold are we getting? A hundred fifty-three. All right. Now we have, like, as many resources as we could ever hope for. Got our fully upgraded elite Zupons we see for the first time, which are gonna be having... Wait, what? Why do some have 9 plus 13 and some have 10 plus 12? That's so weird. Regardless, they're gonna have 22 base attack, which is 4 more than a paladin. 9 melee armor, which is, um, let's see, fully operated regular paladins have 5 melee armor, so they have 4 more melee armor, 3 less pierce armor, and um, 70 less HP, so obviously a much more specialized unit. Hey, stop it, you!
Just need to focus on gathering some wood. We honestly could probably use a few more farmers at home as well. Anyway, let's see what happens when we uh, enter the city. Not sure what that's all about. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot we have paladins. Oh, boy. 60 food, 50 gold paladinos. Oh, the cathedral's under attack. All right, gotta go, go, go. Oh, they're Saracen camel archers. That's why they're doing so much damage. Oh, so we do have siege ram. Wait, what? Where did we get these siege rams? Did they give us the the, the, the village? Give it to us. Uh, Sepanto? Like, I thought we didn't have sea trams. Oh, wait, no, we do have sea trams. Yes, no, yes, no. I'm pretty sure the cathedral is, like, literally just a wonder. In terms of, like, resources we have to spend on it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, just fully upgraded paladins that cost 50 gold. Feels good, man. Let's see what's over this way. There we go, that one. Looks like they got a camp out here. Ooh, fortified towers. Uh, yeah, I have a pretty huge army. Okay, last one. I don't know if we have to defeat the Saracens now. We shall see. We are free at last. Bless you, Thomas Love. Anything else? That's what I thought. Tommy Slav, I'm afraid I cannot finance this campaign any longer. Uh, right now, I have a deal to make. Um, what? <laughs> you what? He, uh, did you did you just done goof? Oh, he's neutral. Oh, that's fine then. That means he won't attack my trade cogs. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Oh, however, it does mean that he attacks my warships. Keep going. It's a mosquito. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, wait. Are they not fully walled? Are these goobers only walling their mosque, which I don't even need to destroy? But yeah, these elite Magyar Zupons are pretty insane, too. Ooh boy. I love how enthusiastic they are, just saying ooh boy to everything. getting stuck. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they only turn neutral to us. If the point is to have Michael betray me, I think it might be better just to make them our enemy, because right now it, it, it really doesn't matter that they're neutral to us. But we don't need to defeat them or anything. All right, I have six stables with a completely full production queue of paladins. I think we're going to win this. I really like the map design. Saracen base looks very nice. Ooh, they got lots of stone. Do they not mine any of it? Is their AI not, uh... No, no, they do have a stone miner AI. Oh, no, getting stuck. DE, please. So where's Bari, man? I don't know where Sipanto is. Whoa, 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 whoa. They still attack us from over here? I guess that makes sense. Imp camels? That's not how this game works. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I think we win. Oh, wow, they're actually going hard at him. Simeon, you're not even in this scenario. Get out of here, man. Without reins and outmuscled by the Saracen galleons, Tomislav's Kondora never ceased production, and he was soon able to fight quality with sheer quantity. That sounds about right. In Apulia, the Saracens put up a formidable resistance, but the new king's tactical thinking ultimately overwhelmed them. The Arabic forces turned their attention inland, allowing the Byzantines to reassert their dominance of the Mediterranean. Siponto was free once more, but unfortunately there was no time to celebrate. Tomislav's alliance with Mikhail turned out to be a farce, for Mikhail had been serving Simeon all along. Once he realized he had Drama. the tactical might of the Croatian army, Mikhail abandoned the rest of the mission for Tomislav to finish and shared what he learned with the Bulgarian Tsar. Simeon! He didn't even have a positive KD. Feels Condora, man. Saracen Navy had an insane KD. Actually, Michael was, was not having a great KD. 
Maybe we don't want him as our ally with the five kills of 109 deaths. Yeah, look at that trade profit, guys. Oh my goodness. That felt good. That was a fun scenario. Um, so because this is only 15 minutes long, I'm going to tack this on to the, uh, the first part. So I'll probably have something somewhere that says, hey, this is actually just going to be one video. Just kidding. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed Voyage to Apulia. Next one is apparently supposed to be a little bit easier, but that will be the Battle of the Bosnian Highlands. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.